Oh, hi. Uh, now I'm not going to be doing this in metric, uh, but I, just, I imported your image just for grins. I thought it might make it a little, a little easier to do. I've got the image in here. I'm going to set it to a custom layer. We'll open up the line style tab. And I'll tell you what, I'll just short circuit all that. I'm going to put it on the image layer. Because we don't have anything on images. Where's I key? There we go. Put it on images. And then uh, in display options, I'll just uh, lock that image, lock that layer. There we go. It's a quick way to do that. I basically just laid out a little space here that's similar to your space. And uh, the way I would do this myself, the way I've done it in the past, and I'm not saying it's the only way to do this. It's just the way I've always done it. And uh, you can take it or leave it as you choose. We'll go over here to build uh, stairs. Here we go. We'll do an up run. And I'm going to select that stair object, use the arrow keys, move it over a little bit. Now I'm going to draw another stair run over here, up. Like I didn't put a, make quite enough space there. Grab that wall, move it over. There we go. <clears throat> now with stairs, you need to be precise. Like, uh, okay, I've, I've got those pretty close together to the same. Now, if you're just making U-shaped stairs, you would just then, uh, with a stair tool uh, selected, you just click in between these, and it would make a, a nice rectangular landing. But in order to do this, you can't do what the article says because uh, it just, it's just, I mean, I've never successfully done it. If somebody smarter than me, like perhaps Sledge, knows how to do that, well, then that's fine. He can show you what I do. And what I prefer is, because it gives me complete control, is I'll just go over to um, CAD tools, uh, box tools, rectangular polyline. I'm going to draw a rectangular polyline here. And I'm just going to cheat a little bit, save time, and uh, follow your geometry and your image. That's the reason I imported it. I'm going to make a, a shape about that, that shape. And I'm going to copy paste that in place, and then drag the, oops, drag the copy up. Let it snap there to that corner, and we'll just drag this corner down. Let it, whoops, come here. Well, you get the idea. I think what I'll do is I'll actually make this into a landing. This first one here, I'm going to convert it. See, convert polyline. One of the choices is landing. And uh, I don't know exactly what I want. I'm, I'm going to turn off auto adjust and auto thickness. I want to find out what the height of this stair is. Uh, let's see, top height 35 and 34 and 5 eighths. I think just to keep this simple for my simple minded math. Math that I do in my head, I'm going to uh, not use automatic heights, and we'll just set that to 35 inches. I don't like fractions, 35. And so this slab here, I'm going to set it to uh, 35 plus 7. So the top height would be uh, 42. And I don't care about the thickness. I'm just demonstrating here. Now this one here, uh, the next one, I'm going to convert it to a slab, and uh, no, not a, excuse me, not a slab, a landing. And again, turn that junk off. And so this one's 42. We want this one at 49, 49 inches. I don't care about the thickness right now. Now the thing about the this type of object, uh, I'm going to click on this edge here open it up. You'll notice that, uh, let's see where is, oh yeah, no rail on selected edge. We don't, we don't want rail where we're going to step. So on these edges where I don't want rail, when you're doing this manually, you have to tell the software. Sometimes it'll kind of catch on and do it right, but it's, it's, it's a better practice to those edges of the polyline that you don't want railing on to uh, tell the 
things through its dialog box if that's what you want. Now I'm going to take this one here and copy it in place and then uh, we'll drag the copy up and uh, then I'm going to reshape it. Let it snap there. Yeah, if you don't have snaps on, by the way, this would be, be quite hard, you know, a lot harder to do. See where the next one's right there, I think. And then we'll just take this copy, which has now been pro programmed in terms of uh, turning railing off on the edges, blah, blah. And we'll just tell this one to be seven inches higher than it's co the one I copied it from. That would be uh, 56. Copy in place. Drag the copy over. By laying the wall out and having the stairs there already, right. okay, I've got that. But this is important. You need to make all this stuff straight. I could tell that that was out. Yeah, there we go. And then put that snap at the there. Okay, and now this one needs to be raised seven inches. I think I well. No, not that one. That one. Yeah, okay. Seven more, that'd be 63 on this one. <clears throat> Copy in place. I suppose you could use the Transform Replicate tool on this. But I don't I don't really think that would be very workable. And this one would be uh could be. It should be at 70 inches. Now I have paid no attention to the uh, ceiling heights and so forth. That's your problem. Make another copy in place. You get the idea. I mean this is pretty straightforward what I'm doing and why. <coughs> And open the dialog and raise it seven inches, or whatever the millimeters equivalent would be in where you live. Copy this one in place. Separate the copy a little bit. No, it didn't move. I use the control key this time. There we go. Snap that, and snap that over there in the corner. Since I'm demonstrating, I'm not going to be too worried about the exact perfection of this. Uh, you should be, <laughs> and, but I'm not. I'm not since uh, this. I'm just. I just wanted to do this close enough so you get the idea. Well, I actually, just leave that in place and just drag the corners. <clears throat> it is important that these custom landings do precisely match each other, and then the stair runs. Let's take a look, open the dialog, see if this actually worked. Now. Okay, I got a little more work to do. It's working okay. But that's basically, there's something goofy going on here. Okay. Let me figure that out. And make sure that all these edges snap together properly. Well, like I say, I've done this several times before, and it worked perfectly. And of course, for the demonstration, I'm, it's making me look like an idiot. But I've looked like an idiot before. I can have it. <clears throat> it's just a matter of sorting these out so that they... Uh, That doesn't look all that wrong. I'm hitting the tab key. They're just not gluing together. Well, that's disappointing, I must say. Well, it worked right up to here. 
And you can see the separate pieces there. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Let me turn off the temporary dimensions. Sometimes those are... Ah, okay. I didn't notice that before. That's the reason I zoomed in, because I, it was probably something I could... wasn't quite seeing clearly. These pieces have to precisely come together. Now, is that another one there? I've never done one with this many segments. Uh, I've done some that, it's, I've never done with this many segments, but when I, when I saw your image, I was pretty sure that it would have to be done this way. I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn off the image, turn that off, making it hard for me to see what's there and what's not there. Okay, I've got a few things out of alignment. And with stairs, perfection is a must. I did do this awfully quickly. That's beginning to look better. But the geometry of, the, of this sort of thing is going to be critical. Oh, I, I bet I know what I did. <laughs> I know what I did now. Ah, uh, the dummy. Oh, yeah, that one's 70. This one should be 77. Come on, open up. Yeah, yeah okay. And, and I didn't raise the height of this one. See? Stupid. That'd be 84. <laughs> and that one ought to be uh, 84, uh, 91. Okay. I was just being stupid. Say so it worked perfectly. And there might be a little more work there to, uh, you know, get this totally perfectly. But that's that's how that that's how you do that, uh, or that's a way to do that. That's the way I the way I do it because I don't like the constraints of pre-programmed tools. And and this is this is something that I can control myself. And uh, I offer you that to you as a solution and to others. And it's it's something that's. Uh, Uh, I hope it's useful to others. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps some people.